Visual approaching youth, landed far to runway 17 right and left. Hazardous weather available for Texas on flight service frequency. Center weather advisory 301, valid for the Abilene area. Notice the airman, runway 422, closed. Tango Alpha Tango Tierra, closed. Crane, 200 feet west of runway 17 right. Approach in, 200 feet AGL. Oil rig, one mile south. Approach in, runway 35 left, 450 feet AGL. VFR departure device ground control, initial heading and altitude, or outcome approach on 127.2. Advise an initial contact, you have information, Yankee. Each year, a number of pilots find themselves in adverse weather situations that could have been avoided if they knew what to look for in advance. The information in this video is so important that I had trouble deciding how to properly present it. Stay tuned as we go storm chasing in a Cessna. All right, it's flight lesson number four. What happened to number three? Well. I forgot, I didn't, thought I had it on, but I didn't. But this one's a very special flight lesson because I get to take these two munchkins. So let's go to the airport, shall we? Since I began taking flying lessons after a 25 year hiatus from a determined quest to become a private pilot, my girls begged me to come along so that they could experience what flying in a small plane is like. Little did they know, that they were going to have their first experience with turbulence as well. Abilene Ground, Skyhawk, c 31 Hotel at Abilene Arrows with information Yankee, uh, going to Clyde Lake at 5,500, ready to taxi. This is 31 Hotel at Abilene Ground, runway 17 left, taxi via Charlie Mike. 17 left via Charlie Mike, 3-1 Hotel. Thunderstorm training is something most flight instructors often don't teach. Yet, especially after this experience, I feel it is some of the most valuable training for aspiring pilots. While most of the flights that begin in visual conditions but deteriorate into bad weather situations turn out well, there are a few that don't. We, as pilots, need to prepare ourselves to recognize the trouble before we get into it. That is what this video is all about. Fifty-five. Nice smooth rotation there. That was beautiful. Yeah. Well done. Oh, trust me, you, you may be a hard instructor, but I'm even harder on myself. Good. That's the way we need it to be. <laughs> they're having a ball back there. That's good. As long as they're screaming, I'm happy. That means they're not sick. If they get <laughs> quiet, I get worried. <laughs> you and me both. Okay, so how long is the average check ride? About what? Three, about seven hours. Seven hours? You'll start at 8.30 in the morning, your oral will be four to five, and then your flying will be one to one and a half. Okay, wow. Anything you miss on the written, he will eat you five on. So, I had a guy score a 95, his oral was reasonably simple. The guy who scored 72, he got an extra hour worth of grilling. Oh, wow. Don't bomb your it. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm studying for it right now. Yep. So, make sure you make it in the 90s if you can. Yeah. Okay, so, the uh, if you're going through a, any kind of line, okay, you see the rain shaft over here to the right? I do. The reason you stay under the bases is to just avoid the rain shafts, okay? If you're up in the clouds, if we're up higher, that's bad, real bad, IFR or not, okay? Because you can't see these shafts, you don't know where they are. You'll end up flying into one, and that will not be good. So, uh, you avoid the rain shafts. If the rain's falling more or less linear, that's fine. You'll note that that one, as it gets low to the ground, is bowing out, okay? That's that's not a full microburst, but it's almost one. Okay? So, yeah. 
And so as a result, uh, you just got to be real careful, you know, out into these areas, you know. Here. Okay. Let's do right. a right turn to 180. Uh, Autopilot. Auto What kind of weather we got? Yeah, we got cells that are painting here. Those are the 40,000 footers. Your power's too low. We need 2450. Uh-huh. 2450 on the power. Good, good, good. So we're paralleling the last of the outflow boundaries of this storm here. Yeah, we're coming up. Still got the rainbow over there. Hey, Serena. Rainbow. If it were night, you'd see lightning and all kinds of cool stuff out there. Yeah. All right. A little rainbow will get more intense the closer we get here. Right, as the see sunlight the comes in. Right. Yeah. You can see the bow on the shaft. Yep. That, that is cool. That's what aviation is all about. Yep. And we might hit some bumps out here, but there's nothing going to hurt us out here. Um, yeah, it's not the smooth air that we're normally experiencing. There's a little some uh, very light chop. That's the picture they ought to be taking right there. I don't know if she can see it. We'll turn around here in a minute where she can. A little less Look over there. Now. Look over there. Rainbow. I was up this morning with the storms we had this morning. We had to cut that flight short. But this rain shaft here is real intense. Okay? Okay. And anytime you can't see the ground behind it, you sure don't want to be flying through it. We got a double rainbow now. You've got one that rain shaft and then one to the left. So there's two over the Hey, we, we are in an area of potential problem. You just don't know it right now. RPMs have come up to 20, 115 knots, okay? You're in, you're in the flanking updraft, okay? As long as we stay alongside of it, it'll be fine. If we were to go into it a little further, we would hit the turbulence of the storm. Okay. okay? So, you know. Uh, and that's what that was. That was an updraft that was sticking up the airplane and level. We didn't do anything. All of a sudden, RPMs are coming up. Airspeed's coming up. Basically, flying through an updraft. Ah. Uh, the back of the storm. Okay. Okay. You can now see the anvil. If you're at higher altitudes, above 10,000 feet, you don't want to be anywhere near the front of that anvil. That's throwing hail out. That's evaporating before it ever hits the ground. But you can hit it in an airplane with it never touching the ground. There's the rainbow right there. That's the cool part. Notice that the RPMs have dropped as we come back to normal air. I heard it. Yep. Uh huh. And caught it this time. All right, we were out of the updraft. Wow, that's intense. Oh. Now, these are detached scud here. That's what we're hitting. Okay. True outflow bound to the back, uh, the flanking line is this cloud deck up here coming up. Notice that you're in a downdraft right now, serious downdraft. Okay, we're being toward the earth here. That's why the airspeed's dropping. Okay, 
You need to not let it go below 80 knots. Fly the plane, don't worry about the kids. Yeah, okay? If it gets below 80, you add whatever power is necessary to keep us up here. Okay? They just wanted them to experience this. So this is their, this is Madeline. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. This is Serena's second airplane ride, but she was a baby when she came here. She was born in the Philippines, so. All right, left turn back the other direction. Please. Left turn. Yep, uh-huh. Yeah, I don't want to go any closer to this thing. Do I, you sure you went left? I want left. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't want to go right. Okay. Watch your airspeed. Need more power. Need a lot more power. It's all the way in now. Good. And, and notice that we can't hold altitude all the way in. Your ball's to the wall, right? Yep. Hey, that's what kind of downdraft you're in. We're in the rear downdraft from this storm, okay? Oh, wow. Okay. It's probably a thousand foot, 500 foot a minute downdraft because you're at best rate of climb and we're not climbing, okay? Wow. So this is a 500 foot a minute downdraft right here. Okay, they could be 10 times that. Look out this side. Oh. All right, yeah, we're out of the downdraft now. Yeah, hey, you can feel the speed coming back up. And All also right. the, the pitch change on the engine. That's right. So this is the kind of stuff you want to be real careful. Anytime you start feeling those up and down drafts, you're too close. Okay, don't fly that close, okay? Unless I'm with you, okay? Just don't do it, all right? And uh, if you're coming at the storm the other direction, the way it's moving, you'll hit the updraft first. You'll have this huge, and I mean, it'll be a 2,000 foot a minute updraft. Split these huge updrafts, and you'll be thinking, man, this is neat, and it'll be smooth as silk. And then, bam, it'll be like hitting a brick wall. You know, I mean, you'll get beat to pieces, you know, so. Um. As you can see from this snapshot of the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association's Air Safety Institute's NAL report, which gathers NTSB data, general aviation is becoming safer as time goes on. However, one aviation-related accident or related death is one too many. The most recent data available at the time of this video's recording is from 2018 and is updated annually as new information becomes available. The link to the current null report is in the video description below. And the more turbulent you're in, the shallower your bank angles need to be. Okay. For guys get killed, get into turbulence, they fly into a thunderstorm accidentally and they got this 180 thing in their head. I'll do a 180 to get out. But they do it because they're panicking. They do it as a, in a steep bank. They do it at a 45 degree angle. Well, now you've already got a G and a half on the plane before you hit a bump. Yeah, there, there was, a, there was, a, there was an IFR rated pilot that uh, yeah, bought the farm yeah, because he was relying too heavily on the on the weather radar. Oh yeah. yeah down in, down in Houston. That's right, that'll get you. The accident clips you're seeing are from the AOPA's Air Safety Institute and is from the crash I've just mentioned in flight. I've included a link to the video in the description below. And I did have a friend flying my airplane one day. I'm coming back from Las Vegas, Nevada. He's coming across Arizona and not under a towering CU. I, I turned the autopilot back on. Okay. At 8,000 feet, and it sucked him up to 14,000, power to idle, into the cell, nose pointed down, red line on the airspeed. Wow. And he was still climbing 2,500 feet a minute. And uh, his wife started panicking at 14,000 because she knew pretty soon we're not going to be able to breathe, we're going to be in ice, you know, and everything else. And just about then, the storm spit him out, you know, but scared him to within an inch of his life. And yeah, no, I would imagine. You no, know, that kind of updraft is a religious experience.
Good. Very good. She's going to float for a long time here at 80 knots. She's going to at least 1,000 feet. Just hold her up here. Back pressure, more back pressure. Not that much. And more as she slows. Good. More as she slows. More as she slows. Good. Flaps up. To three. Full power, a little bit of right rudder. Good. Let's fly. Good. Excellent. Very good. This looks perfect. I tried. Yeah, this is nice. Up. Up. Better float. Yeah. Good. Yeah, a little more back pressure. She slows. Do not land this plane. That's too much. Or there you go. And I can still pull her into the sky if I wanted to right now. I can get her back up. Right. So we let a little fast. That's okay. okay flaps up. Uh, not enough right rudder. You can't add that power without that right rudder. And you sure don't want to be looking out the window while you're doing it. We're way fast. Fly. <laughs> they are verbal, aren't they? They are. That, that's a good thing. Pay for learning. Yeah. Abilene Tower, 36700, left base 17. Piper, 36700, Abilene Tower, runway 17 left, clear for the option. After your option, make left close traffic. Right, clear for the option, Roger, 700. Right there. Hold her right there. More back pressure. More and Piper 700, more just for read back. More I need back. runway 17 left. More runway 17 left. Clear for the option. Pull it in back. There you go. Hold the nose. 17 left. Clear for the option. 700. Steer with your feet, but ride the wheelie. Keep the keep at the back pressure. Pull. Keep pulling. It's all the way. It's no, all it's way. not. No, it ain't. Oh. <laughs> no, it ain't. All right. All right. I guarantee you, it ain't all the way. Just keep it. Stay in there. Should down to 25 knots. Hold that nose wheel off. Four. Four. All right. So we're back. We're on our way home. And I was pretty scared. You were you were scared? Why were you scared? Because my butt was shaking. <laughs> okay. So you have it from the Madeline. Her butt was shaking. <laughs> but uh, my de the debrief on my flying, I was much better today than I have been in previous sessions. Um, I did whatever I did. I, I needed to do not to bring out the Sergeant Hartman in him, and he even got you. You saw it. He even got a little bit of a chuckle out of that, out of my nickname for him. Uh, so, unfortunately, I didn't get. I don't have enough time yet to get my student license. Uh, I've got another couple of uh, about two more, two or three more flights before I can get that. I'm about nine hours that I can prove. Uh, of the total flight time that I have, I've got, shoot, it, it's it's not about what you've got. It's not about what, it's about what you can prove. And I was, when I first started flying, when I first started my flight training, I was almost to my license. And then I put family aside 
to, I put flying aside for family because, well, my son, I found out my son was on the way. Their half brother. So today we, uh, it was a bit bumpy. Yeah, it was, it was an experience for them and it was their first time flying that they'll remember, the Serena remembers. And yeah, so next time it will be September, right after Serena's birthday on the 25th. And uh, we're going to forego bringing the kid, bringing the girls with this time, uh, simply because I want to. You know, we need to go ahead and do some ground, some low altitude maneuvers, and Ron just doesn't want to uh, to do anything with passengers like that, or do anything like that with passengers. So, yeah. Uh, but the goal is to knock out all of the ground reference maneuvers that I need. Uh, steep turns, I need to get those mastered. Uh, doing better at those. Uh, I need to get slow flight and um, stalls mastered. Uh, but I also need to do turns around a point and S turns, which are low altitude maneuvers. Those are like right at pattern altitude. So that's it for this edition of Check 6 Aviation. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. I will do my level-headed best to answer each and every one of them. And um, by all means, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do so and be sure to hit the notification bell and definitely give me a thumbs up on this video. Uh, thank, special thanks to all of my current subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed already, then there's more to come. So, on the way home, this is Raymond, Amy, and Serena and Madeline saying, remember to always check your six. Peace.